makes you uncomfortable, change is good. Oh my goodness, how colorful is this? friends usually I drink tea or just chug water but I kind of wanted to dip myself into the fall holiday feel Starbucks hot cocoa usually you would drink it with milk but this time I'm just gonna dip it with water if you're new here my name is Angelica and today we're gonna be doing more of a what I do in a day a work-life productivity whatnot during the fall amazing thing ever. So right now I'm kind of just posting on my Instagram stories because I do this every morning and throughout the entire day, eating some blueberries, some good fruit. The size of my thumb. It did not just fall the snow. <coughs> so right now we're going to pack a plant. Isn't it so pretty? It's called a Skindapsis Mayari. It's originally from the Philippines and I originally got this full plant with four or five leaves for 2300. <laughs> done working out i'm filming on my camera right now on my phone and i always work out usually in like the late morning early afternoon and now it's two o'clock after working out i know it's exhausting and whatnot i have no brain fog throughout the entire day which is so great not only am i more awake more alert but at the same time you guys it's a productive activity working out and like literally treating your body as a temple Let's drive home. So I came back from the gym and this box is a part of PR and I have been waiting to kind of unbox this for a while. It's been on my desk for about like two weeks. Confession, I actually don't get a lot of PR. Um, gifting is optional. Um, I guess it depends on like whether or not you say yes or no because a lot of companies can reach out to you and be like, we would love to give you free products and stuff. You don't have to post or anything like that. And it's like, great. Good Molecules contacted me and it's so pretty. I love the vibe of everything. It's so cheerful. Gave me a little note. How cute is that? See a difference in your skin. I have really dry eczema, <laughs> you know, skin. It's just not pretty. You know what I mean? So we're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, how colorful is this? I told them about my skin type. Gave me a toner that's brightening right now. And what else did they give me? A silicone free priming moisturizer, hyaluronic serum, and a matte wake up eye gel. I don't actually have anything like this, so I'm definitely gonna use this probably first and let you guys know how it feels. So we got four products right there. How cute is that? Oh, I really like how they list out all their ingredients on here. Most people don't do that. It's just like all in like paragraphs and you know. Right now we're gonna be creating my own vision or mood board for the very first time. I'm just like really excited for doing this. I usually kind of just like write down goals and whatnot. I feel like maybe I need to be more creative and try to envision it so I'm more motivated to do something about it and be reminded that this is what I'm working towards for my actual life in the future. Let's go on Pinterest and kind of just like nitpick some photos on like what I kind kind of want my life um, to look like, whether that's physical or mentally, financially, you know the jazz. Finally done with my actual vision and mood board. I spent about probably 15, 20 minutes kind of like going through a bunch of boards and photos and collages kind of adding to what I kind of want in my life. So let me show ya. First of all, is this or is this not cute? Mine kind of just revolves around protecting your own energy, like balancing your work life, accepting 
growth and actual change no matter what it is and a lot of self-love when it comes to myself only because I've been kind of struggling with like physically loving me overall and just like change doesn't happen overnight you know when it comes to like working out and whatnot me focusing kind of on like creating myself and like my own brand being able to go out be spontaneous live while i'm young being receptive to financial independence and opportunity this is what i want my new place to kind of look like focusing more on also real estate projects and just being the freaking energy you want to attract in your life, being grateful for a lot of things. And also I kind of want to get into journaling even more than usual. Basically, it's just a lot put into this. Um, it might not make the most sense to you, but as long as it makes sense to me, then that's totally fine. But just being able to like live my actual dream like this and achieve it in the future, like it's gonna make me happy. Please. Is this or is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like ever. Now that we're done with the whole mood board and vision board, I would love to go over what I would do next on a productive day. Filming and video editing. We gotta edit because I usually post twice a week on YouTube, long form content wise. And here's one of the videos. Let's set our mind and let's just not get distracted. I keep going on my phone. I need to edit. I need to sit here and edit. To close the night, it's gonna be dinner in a few hours. So I'm gonna try to grind this a little bit more before we actually end up eating. That's my productive day today. I really hope that it was able to motivate some people, try new hobbies, um, just get yourself out there. You know what I mean? Like be productive, even if it's only for like 10 to 15 minutes a session, like I know you can do it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and don't forget to turn that post notification. That way, you know, I'm always posting throughout the entire week and we will definitely see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye.